welcome back. Uh, once again, John Cole here from Subway MA and Liam, and we're going to take a look at the Bravo grip. Uh, in a previous video, guys, we talked about how this is such a ver versatile grip and you can kind of use it from different positions. Today, we're going to take a look at that same grip um, in the cross side position. Okay, so I'll get Liam to lie down. So, from this position, guys, once again, you've passed your opponent's guard, you're holding side control, and you want to kind of firm up that grip. So, I'm going to obviously, in normal circumstances, I was holding side I'd be trying to put as much pressure on him as I can I'm up and elevated so I can kind of talk about the grips and what I want you guys to do okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up his gi lapel it's the exact same thing as when you're in the closed guard so from here I'm opening up the lapel and from the bottom position I might even look to again try and extend that lapel from here just like we did in the closed guard it's underneath his arm and I'm gonna pass the grip to my other hand now this is the part I want you guys to kind of take uh, notice on. If you look at his body, you see how his body's flat on the ground? Watch what happens when I tighten up this grip or bring my elbow to my, to my body. Okay, watch his body. So it went from being flat on the ground to it's slightly elevated. So I've created a leverage position and a position of advantage for myself, okay? Now for him to try and hip escape away, especially with my hand on the other side of his body, it becomes very, very, very difficult, okay? Not impossible, but difficult. So now, what do I do with this grip? I mean, there's a couple of different things we can do. Today, we're gonna look at the submission option. So I'm gonna basically look to pull the rest of that lapel to the other side of his body. And just like in the guard, I'm gonna switch my, my, my hands. Now guys, don't forget, I'm, I'm giving a lot of space so you guys can see in a, real, in a real match, I'd be down here and looking to bring my hand through, okay? So but for, for now, just so you guys can see, we're going to do it like this. So I bring the lapel across the other side, take my hand, come across his body and switch to grip. Once again, just like in the guard, my thumb is up against his carotid artery. Okay. My knuckles are on the ground. Here's the other thing. From there, I'm going to use the ground and the lapel to create a leverage point where I drop my forearm into the center of his chest. Okay. It's very uncomfortable for my partner. My other hand's gonna once again, grab the back of his gi, that little ridge that we've created with the lapel, okay? Once I grab that, I'm gonna flare my elbow out so it comes to the other side of his head and I'm going to look to finish the choke. How do I finish that choke? I got a couple of different options. I can drive my elbow down towards the chest and bring my elbows together and then I bring my head to his side of his head. If I have to, I loosen up the grips just so you guys can see. I have to, if I have to, I'm gonna bring my head as low as I can to the point where my head touches the ground, okay? A lot of times if the, if the lapel's tight and the grips are tight, you, you won't have to drop that much, I promise you, okay? So on this uh, round, I'm gonna get a little bit closer to him to kind of demonstrate what it would look like a little bit more in a real setting, okay? Without him resisting, of course, <laughs> okay? So I'm here, I'm holding side control. Okay, I've opened up the gi, I pass it to my other hand. Everything stays in tight to avoid him getting away. From this position here, I slide my hand down the, the, the lapel and make sure to bring it to the other side of his body. From here, my hand that was underneath his arm and hugging him close to me is going to come in between my chest and his and my palm of my hand is going to ride up his body until I can bring my hand to that lapel. Once I get that hand on, on the lapel, as you can see here, I'm gonna hold on to everything and I'm holding on to his gi so he doesn't try to get away, okay? I'm just keeping everything tight. From there, I make the grip on the lapel, collar, reach it around, in tight, and then I'm gonna bring my head to the mat. Okay, guys? So guys, there's a quick, there's a quick explanation of a cross collar choke using the Bravo grip from side control. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Rep it out, guys, with your friends, and then come online, come on video, come on the mats, and let's practice in person, guys. Take care. Ciao.